Good morning. Uh, today is May the 6th. Uh, we're here to give you another video infomercial uh, with regards to the current state of affairs. Uh, as you know, tomorrow, Wednesday the 7th, is the council uh, date that they're going to make a decision potentially on our contract. Again, this is not over. It's important that everybody stay engaged. Uh, we need you to show up. There will be an opportunity to speak and uh, we need a good turnout again like we had last, uh, last week and hopefully we can make a decision. We've been meeting with uh, council folks, talking to them, trying to get a handle on where they're at and what they're doing and to be quite frank with you, uh, they're not real clear. I don't think they know what to do and I'm not so sure, sure that they are um, convinced one way or another which way it's gonna go. But with that, I'll turn it over to Will and uh, he'll provide you with some uh, details of what to expect. Good morning, guys. I'll just provide a couple quick points uh, from talking to people out in the field the past couple days. There appears to be a little misconception that we won't have an opportunity to speak uh, tomorrow. That is untrue. There will be public comment just like last time. Everybody will have an opportunity to speak. And again, we need to pack the house. We need more people there this time than last time. We'll be giving out uh, the t-shirts again. If you already have a t-shirt from last time, please bring it to save the other shirts for people who didn't come last time. Uh, but we need to pack the house because that's the way you put the pressure on the council. If nobody's there, then they think that their vote doesn't matter and that you don't care, which we know is not the case. Uh, a couple other other points is, you know, I've got a lot of questions lately about what to be more like the fire union and how can the fire union gets everything they want or appears to get everything they want. It's because they're organized. And I think this is the first step and that's becoming more like the fire union. A couple key points. The fire union has 100% membership which is important because they recognize the value of being united and standing together even when they get upset about a decision the union might make or a stance they might take they don't quit they get involved and make the union better so one thing is we need 100 percent membership the second thing is is every firefighter gives 25 dollars to pack it's basically required as part of their union membership that they fill out the pack card and give 25 dollars that's the political action committee that's what makes the fire union so powerful is they have uh, at some points millions of dollars in their pack account because they have $25 a month coming from 1500 members that fill that pack account and they use that money for political campaigns and to get people elected into office and get initiatives passed. So our, our pack contributions, I think we have under 20% of the membership that contributes anything to pack and hardly anybody that gives 25 bucks. So if we want to be more like fire, we got to put our money where our mouth is and give money to pack so we can be more politically involved. And also, from talking to the fire union president, because they're gonna be doing, starting July 1st, where they're gonna be giving the hours back in their bank and then being asked to donate them back to the union, he is very convinced that within one week, he will have 100% of those hours back in the union bank, because those firefighters, they understand the importance of having a strong union is to allow, is to give them the time so that they can work and take care of the membership needs. So again, I'm gonna reiterate, I know it sounds like a broken record, but we need everybody to give those 6.6 .6 hours back so that we can keep the business of the union going and, and we can fight strong for you. Now this is not, this is just the first step in a battle. We, like I said last, uh, last week on Friday, we are exploring options that if they do vote to shove concessions down our throat, we are looking at options of doing a referendum or some other ballot initiative to give the citizens a vote because I do not think that the citizens will vote uh, to cut us. So that's where we're at today. Again, we need everybody there tomorrow. It starts at 3.30. There's rumors going around that Unit 2, which is the uh, other unit, is going to settle. So if they settle today, then we will be the first ones up right at 3.30 or 4. So it's important that everybody get there. And even if you get off at 4, just come down as soon as you can and bring your family, bring your friends, bring whoever you can, because we, again, need your support and need you to be there to pack the council to force them to do the right thing. Thank you.